Hey guys, it's Ruth with BodyByRuth.com, the place to be where you're going to learn to love the body and the life that you live in. Today, we're gonna be talking about some of my favorite fall foods, and I have to say, I'm super excited because it is finally feeling like fall here in Atlanta. We've had 90 days of 90 plus degree weather, so today and yesterday, yesterday was the first day in like, 90 days that it actually was cool and it was in the 70s and it was amazing and I'm like pulling out the fall colors and just super excited but today is all about my favorite fall foods and why you should be eating them because they are so good for you you ready let's do this okay so one of my first favorite fall foods is Brussels sprouts I buy a large bag, I get them at Costco or Sam's Club. I love to roast them, but here's why you need to be eating them. Brussels sprouts are one of the most fiber rich foods on the planet, and fiber is going to help you stay full. It also is the only carbohydrate that doesn't turn to fat, so you need to be eating lots of fiber. If you think you don't love Brussels sprouts, you really need to give them another try. I grew up disliking them because my mom didn't cook them right. They were mushy and slimy and they smelled and I just didn't love them. But if you do them and they get a little caramelized with some olive oil, salt, pepper, garlic, you could put some lemon juice on it. Sometimes I'll do some balsamic vinegar. They are the bomb.com. So number one, Brussels sprouts. Okay, my second favorite fall food that you need to be eating a lot of is pumpkin. All right, so one thing you need to know is make sure you're buying just pumpkin. It's not pumpkin pie filling. And you're gonna use this in pretty much anything and everything. It goes in my morning coffee. I'll put some in my morning smoothie. I just made a really yummy uh, pumpkin smoothie bowl where I took a little bit of Greek yogurt, some pumpkin, mixed it together, and then added a splash of almond milk, topped it with some pumpkin seeds, and Else they put, oh, and some flaked coconut, uh, maybe a drizzle of honey, and it is so amazingly delicious. Um, and here's why you need to be eating it. It is one of the most healing foods that you can eat. It's also loaded with fiber, great for digestive issues, awesome for gut health. It's loaded with vitamin C. Vitamin C is great for skin complexion. So orange, pumpkin, amazing, get it, put it in everything, you'll thank me later. Food number three, is pears. It's the only fruit on the list. Um, and did you even know that it was a fall fruit? Did you ever try to buy a pear when it's not in season and it just isn't sweet, it's hard? Um, when you buy them now, they are ultra sweet, they're more juicy, they're super flavorful, and this is why you need to be enjoying pears. Pears are great for diverticulitis, did you know that? Who knew? They're also fiber rich and they're gonna keep you fuller longer. They fight free radicals, which are cancer causing, and they're good for the digestive system. So I love to do a smoothie with pear and avocado and spinach. It's super light, it tastes amazing. I will do baked pears, and that's a really good thing for breakfast or as a dessert. Just bake them, put a little bit of coconut oil on them, sprinkle a little cinnamon, some nutmeg, maybe some coconut sugar, and then when you take it out, put some Greek yogurt on it, maybe a, a drizzle of honey, and it is amazing. Um, Yesterday it was my husband's birthday, and so in lieu of cake, we're doing a pear goat cheese tart. It is delicious. I'm dying to take a bite now, but I'm gonna wait because he's coming home and we're gonna enjoy it together. But you need to get yourself some pears um, because they're in season and they're really good for you. Number four, squash. Now this is a butternut squash, but all squash butternut, acorn, spaghetti squash. They are in season, they're cheap. This was 79 cents, you guys, and it'll make a whole big batch of soup. I love to roast it and then put it in little cubes, add it to quinoa with some sweet potato. It makes a really good, uber healthy bowl. So delicious. It's rich in vitamins A, vitamin B, vitamin C. What you need to know about vitamin C is just gonna boost your immune system and it's gonna help with your skin health. So if you're getting older and you wanna preserve your skin, butternut squash, acorn squash, those yellow, uh, deep orange rich foods are awesome for that. It also boosts bone strength. So as we age, we are losing bone density and this is gonna help boost bone strength. So 
Eat yourself some squash. It's in season, so good for you. Get yourself some. All right, one of my all-time favorites, my clients know because it gets on the meal plan, um, is, let's see if I can lift it all, beets, okay? So I get both red beets and orange beets. Um, orange are a little bit sweeter, a little less earthy. They are amazing in a smoothie. I love it with ginger. It tastes amazing with ginger in a smoothie and lemon, like so, so good. But my favorite way to eat beets is to roast them. Like my Brussels sprouts, I'll put some coconut oil on them, some salt, some pepper. Usually I do a lot of um, garlic with it. And then I make them in a beet salad and then I'll add a few um, walnuts and some goat cheese and it is to die for. Possibly sprinkle a little balsamic vinegar on and amazing. So here's why you need to be eating beets. Beets are great for the blood. If you are a long distance runner or you do a lot of cardio, it is said that beets can actually help you run faster. So not only are they super good and full of vitamins and fiber, but they're good for the blood. They will help you run faster. Make yourself a beet juice smoothie or roast some beets. Okay, number six on the list are sweet potatoes. Now we enjoy sweet potatoes year round and they don't really change in flavor year round, but they are so good. This is a go-to source of carbs for me when I'm having a high carb day. Um, I usually bake them and put a little bit of coconut oil on them or some grass-fed butter, some cinnamon. Cinnamon is a great addition to any of these um, foods in fall. It tastes so good. Um, they're loaded with fiber. Once again, all these foods are fiber rich, which you need to just know they're gonna help with your digestion so you're staying regular and it helps you stay full. It also will help you maintain healthy blood pressure. So if you risk um, a high blood pressure level, make sure your diet is including sweet potatoes at least once a week. One of my favorite ways to use sweet potatoes is by cutting them into about half inch slices drizzling a little coconut oil on them and baking them, and they serve as buns for a burger. So I'm not eating bread or anything with gluten, I'm having a sweet potato bun instead. Okay guys, so there you go, six of my favorite fall foods that you should be eating right now for optimal health. Um, and just as an aside, if you're looking for a way to put all these foods together, I can help you out. I have a great fall meal plan. I'll put the link in the description below. It's going to give you amazing recipes that you and your family are going to love that are gonna fuel your body, help your body be a fat burner, help your body fight cancer and stay younger longer. Give it a look. And as always, thanks for tuning in. If you like this video, please like it. Don't forget to subscribe so that you don't miss out on any of my tips that are gonna help you live your best life. Here's to loving the body you live in. See you guys.